Hi, I'm Steve with Flanagan Implement, and I'm here with Mike Nelms, our product specialist for Gleaner Combines from Agco. And we're going to take a few minutes and do a walk around on the new T-Series Combine. I've been working with these combines for probably over 40 years, and we're pretty excited about what this combine brings to, to us and to the farmers. Yeah, thanks, Steve. A uh, little bit about myself. As Steve mentioned, my name is Mike Nelms. I'm the product specialist for Gleaner Combines. Uh, I've been with Agco since 2011 when we introduced the S7 series, and so I've seen the evolution from the, the R6 series combines to the S7s, the S8s, the S9s, and now our brand new T-series here for 2025. I think we have a few new updates on these combines, and the first one being would be the final drives and the way that the wheels attach to the combine. That's correct, Steve. So with the T-series combine, we've got an all-new transmission underneath the machine. Uh, it comes out from the center of the machine uh, out to our new axle extension and final drive. With the new transmission and final drives, we also no longer have the old style drum duals. Uh, we're now running a dished rim on both the inner and outer tire, which gives us greater load carrying capacity. What is new on the transmission? Is it a different gear transmission is it, or is it a whole new transmission? So it's a whole new transmission and propulsion system, Steve. So it's still a hydrostatic drive transmission, but all the components have changed. Uh, heavier design to handle the higher weight carrying capacity that is needed with our new corn heads, you know, extra capacity out in the field. With this transmission, uh, we have new shifting functionality from the cab. We also have new hydraulic brakes and a new hydraulic diff lock to get extra traction when the field conditions demand. Now with the different shifting capacities, we just have a high-low in the transmission now, correct? That is correct. We got rid of the gear patterns. Yep, and... there's no more four-speed gear change. Now it's just a high-low and it's all automated on the go. It should make it much easier yep, in field yep. conditions. What we've seen is it really increases our field efficiency out there uh, because now the transmission, you're able to achieve that optimum ground speed without having to split gear shifts. Over to the left-hand side of the combine, we have the auger out. And this shield here all looks different, Mike. What, what did they change with this shield? Yep, so one of the requests we had from our, our longtime Gleaner customer base was to have better access and better serviceability here on the left-hand side of the combine. So we've completely redesigned the shielding on this side of the combine. So first off, we'll show here that we've got a hinge door here at the bottom that opens up larger than the previous model did to give us better access to the diesel exhaust fluid tank to make it easier for uh, filling this tank when you're out in the field. Another added feature is we can close this door. And then we've got another latch up here that allows us to open up the entire side of the combine. As you can see, we now have complete access to this side of the combine. We can make chopper speed changes. We can uh, do any adjustments. We can clean the machine and any repair work now. We have very easy access to this left-hand side of the combine. They have really increased the serviceability with the changes they've made on this combine. It's just amazing after all these years working on the machines that we're able to just open a door and be able to get to the rotor, get to the top chopper pulley, have everything all accessible to us. It's really a game changer as far as serviceability. When we look at the T-Series combines, there's you really hit the nail on the head there, Steve. There's really several main areas that our engineering team focused on. Number one is increased reliability. With our new transmission and our new final drives, we're gaining that reliability, that weight carrying capacity, and that efficiency out there in the field to make the most of our time during harvest. We've also increased the, the ease of maintenance factor with our new shielding and the ability to get to areas of the machine to make it easier for our farmers to service out in the field. The third item that we really addressed was giving our farmers the technology they want and the technology they need up in the cab. We have things like new telemetry options, machine to machine sharing of information. So if you have two combines running together in the same field, they can be sharing information automatically back and forth. And we also now have an auto headland feature where the combine will automatically make the turn on the headland and get you headed back into the crop. And that's not even mentioning the two-year bumper-to-bump warranty that this combine has 
directly from the factory without buying anything in addition. We've walked around to the back of the combine now, and I noticed a few changes on the back of the machine. It looks like the door here is about 10 inches wider than what the old combine used to be. We have the corners are kind of rounded off, and the lights are kind of integra integrated into the, into the corners of the combine. And I also see that we have a rear view camera in there that's standard equipment. Is there anything else back here, Mike, that we've, that we've got and have changed? Yep. The other thing you'll notice is now the, the engine hood latch is incorporated into the ladder. So now when the power fold ladder is folded up, it engages the hood and locks the hood closed. Uh, so we no longer have those, those latches at the, on the hood that we need to release in order to raise the hood to do our service maintenance. From this angle, you can also see our new hydraulic tank here that we mentioned when we were on the other side of the combine, and that's also going to house our new hydraulic filter that's going to come in and out of the top of the tank. Okay, we've moved around to the right-hand side of the combine. Mike, we know there's been a lot of changes in shielding on this combine to give the farmer a lot more accessibility. I think we'll go ahead and open these shields up now, and then we'll go through some of the changes that have been made to the combine itself. You bet. Let's go ahead and open them up, Steve. Okay. You'll notice this first shield uh, is changed from the S9 series. On the S9, that was a two-piece shield that you had to fold at the same time. Now it's just a single-piece shield that has a, a higher opening angle that allows us more access underneath the combine, and we don't have to worry about that, that two-shield mechanism hanging up in the air up above our head. Mike, on the older combines, we always used to have trouble servicing the batteries and getting in there, and it was such it was so tight, and nobody liked working with that. What have they done to change that on the new T-Series combine? So there's been a lot of things to make maintenance easier on the T-Series combine, especially for our farmers out in the field. We've already talked about the new shield there on the right-hand side that we were able to open up to access the clean grain elevator and the rotor gearbox. The next big redesign came to this shield back here with the rotary air screen. So we're going to have three simple latches that we're going to disengage on this side panel here. And then with one pull of the handle, we now have complete access to the cooling package on the combine as well as the battery area. It's going to make it much easier for daily maintenance, for any cleaning you want to do. Make sure we're keeping trash from building up on top of these batteries. Mike, I noticed that we don't have a hydraulic filter down here on the right-hand side below the engine compartment like we used to. That, that's correct, Steve. With the new propulsion system, with that new transmission and final drives, the hydraulic system has now been redesigned on the T-Series, and we eliminated that hydraulic oil filter change here now. Now the filter comes in and out of the top of the hydraulic tank up in the engine compartment. So we no longer have to drain the hydraulic fluid in order to change the, trans the hydraulic filter. That is correct. We've improved the serviceability of the machine with the new propulsion system as, as well as the added features and added carrying capability. That came out with this combine is the new rotor reverser, and it goes along with the same gearbox that we've been using for the last 10 years. There has been no change in the gearbox, but we have added a rotor reverser to that combine. Yep, it's a very simple setup. So as you mentioned, we're still using our same uh, DuraGuard rotor gearbox that we came out with in 2014. That gearbox was introduced to handle high horsepower loads of the new generation of combines. What we've added to it now with the T-Series machine is on that drive hub on the other side, there's basically a large ring gear, and now there's a hydraulic motor. It's a low-speed, high-torque hydraulic motor that can be used to reverse that rotor now from the cab for easy cleanouts of that rotor cage area. Right hand console, we have the hydro lever. It looks the same as what the, the previous S9 series looked like, but the difference is, is that Z pattern is gone. There's no Z pattern, that handle is fixed, and we just have forward and reverse, and there's a trigger button on the bottom of the handle here. When you hit this trigger button and you shove this handle ahead, the combine will go forward. You can bring it back into neutral just by bumping it down incrementally, or you can bring it back and hold it, and it'll stop. If you want to go in reverse, hit the trigger button, pull the combine back into reverse. Um, on the right-hand console here, we have our two speeds right now, and you can go to road speed on, with a push of a button over here.
One of the things our customers that have ran these combines have, have mentioned to me is they feel that this new style hydro transmission control is uh, much more user friendly. Uh, one of the biggest comments I've got from customers is how easy it is to creep up and hook up their headers. Um, with, the, with the old style Z pattern, sometimes it could be a little, a little jerky or a little sudden on the combine movements where this is very smooth and very easy to, to inch up to those headers and, and get them hooked up in a safe manner. Mike, I see that the, I see that we do not have a gearbox up here on front like some of, the, some of the combines that are our competition. Why have we decided to stay with a belt instead of going with a gearbox? Great question, Steve. So we have stayed with this design. We actually upgraded this design back in 2014 with the introduction of the S8 model combines. Uh, we roughly doubled the horsepower capacity of this header drive uh, back in 2014. Went from 90 horsepower capacity to 180 horsepower capacity. In our testing, what we have found is the belt drive is a much more efficient transfer of horsepower. We don't lose a lot of horsepower with a belt drive compared to a gearbox. So we're able to keep the lightweight stability of the machine and not compromise any of that horsepower that we can drive up there to that, to that header. Walked around the combine here and, and looked at all the changes with the new T-Series machines. Uh, we've really looked at ways that we can improve harvest for our farmers with increased capacity out of the transmission and final drives, making our daily maintenance easier with the new shielding, uh, giving us more features like a hydraulic rotor reverser, wider opening ladder in the back, uh, and enhanced controls in the combine cab. If you're interested in seeing the new T-Series on your farm this fall, contact the guys here at, at Flanagan Implement and sign up to see this T-71 out on your farm. Thank you for your time.